And while our air is fairly clear right now, well, I say that sort it's of. a little rainy, but it's not <laughs> smoky like the wildfire that we saw a few weeks ago, yeah. how it made it a little bit difficult to breathe outside. Made its way all the way across yeah, the country, in fact. Well, today the North Carolina State Climate Office did launch a new website that'll help you figure out if the air outside is going to impact your health. CBS 17 Storm, uh, Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunzing talked one on one with the developers, uh, developers about why that is so important right now. Smoke, dust, ozone, all of this reduces our air quality and makes it hard for people with asthma, COPD, and other respiratory issues to breathe. So to help you figure out if it's safe for you to spend time outside, the North Carolina State Climate Office just launched an interactive website called AIR. The, the tool is set up so that all of that air quality information is displayed in a way that should be easy to read. It's color coded, so if the values are green, you know you're good. Corey Davis from the Climate Office is one of the developers of AIR, the ambient information reporter. The Climate Office teamed up with the North Carolina Division of Air Quality to tap into their network of air quality sensors across the state, so you know what could be impacting your breathing if you step outside. Fortunately, Central North Carolina has not had as many ozone issues due to emission regulations, but what's happening across the country continues to have a more significant impact on us here at home. As fire seasons get worse across the country, that smoke can still make it into North Carolina. So instead of ozone problems, we're starting to have more and more problems with this fine particulate matter. Whether it's smoke or dust, our air quality is important to our health. If there's anything I think we've all learned over the past year, it's that what, what's in the air is actually really important and we really want to know what's out there. So while we can't always have the cleanest air. And at least in terms of uh, the weather and the air quality, I, I think this tool really gets it and knowing what is all around you in the air. We can at least breathe easy knowing that we have a new, better way to track impacts. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Rachel Dunzing.